almost fell asleep waiting. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Huh? Are you some sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? <laughs> Sorry, but we're not really interested. <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am Astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here... Then I will show myself to be superior to my master. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. How did he get involved in this anyway? The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you, even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. <laughs> A wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place of visit before we go. There is a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. <laughs> that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, well, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. That ring was given to me by my mother, but while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Hmm, that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide, and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. 
principles are principles. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation, if you were willing. Uh, 20,000? Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much mora to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, maybe we can use Elemental Bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. You remember the stuff we helped Master Diluc make? And... <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Paimon's the very best partner, right? Seems like you already have a plan. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. The elemental bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. Boba! Gentle. Isn't bad either. I guess I can keep That's it! That's the one! Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. I think there might be over 500 of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the mora, as agreed. Please take it. Then I'll take it, gladly. But we did all the work! A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? Exactly! Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Ugh... 
What was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Ah, uh, shh. <laughs> that didn't happen. Forget it. <laughs> well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wangshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? She's such a good person. <laughs> let's have ourselves a great meal. Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? These are made using large, succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat? Mm, you'll never get enough of it. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Joy soup, please. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar and dangerous. So not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Pilot doesn't get it. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Oh, yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. You don't use more to fulfill your desires. So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's... <laughs> Hello, how may I help you? 
to borrow the kitchen gear. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden crab. Golden crab, golden crab. <laughs> then let's get to it. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. This aroma is... Wow, it's incredible. Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mmm, this golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? <laughs> Let's go then. We can make conversation along the way. The more the merrier. There's no need. Now, shoo, get out of our way. Huh? Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon-forsaken place. Is that your deal? 
What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liga Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're a real legitimate businessman, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. <laughs> Another test subject. <laughs> What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <sighs> I thought you weren't tired. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I guess... Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young... female... Knight of Favonius. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Mr. Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too, you're back. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. Successor? That's right. 
I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're Mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. Ugh. My readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well-versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Glee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Hmm, not this one. Hmm, hmm. or this one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, no, it's not this one either. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. Wait for me. I'll be right back. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. Closer. Found it! It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. We're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful! Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And... Why is it empty? Huh? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. 
You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. Oh. It's the book in your hand. What? This. So this book, this diary, is that hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? Huh. I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am... am I in trouble? Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Um... Well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Yes, I mean, no. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. S stop talking about it. I... I guess I'll have to... I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait, I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... Well, you know what I mean, don't you? Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. Astra Abyssosk. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. The person who placed the seal is by no means simple. Breaking the seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Alright, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. <laughs> You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back, and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Rent? I do 
didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out, too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... <sighs> I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Yes, I don't really know what to do, but I'll do my best. I wish you both safe travels. <sighs> as for me, I need to think of the future as well. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. <laughs>